friends, foes, and fire starters. My name is TB's Guy, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World, where we have survived the terrifying tutorial rampage of the game, which was really a rather underwhelming challenge, all things considered. And now we're looking for something else to do. We might as well, frankly, just, just grab some more quests. Some village quests. Finish the level three ones and see what else we may find. And I want to fight my good old pal, the Kulu Yaku. Although first we shall need ourselves a hearty meal of dango. I will say it until I'm blue in the face. The Capcom animators are just on another level. Like both when it comes to just like just the sheer joy <laughs> that they infuse into the animation that they create, but also just the like their ability to translate anime aesthetic to 3D animation. Is like because that's a really hard thing. Anime aesthetics are uh, uh, blasted cool Yaku always stealing my Viber and eggs. I've tried and tried to make my way through the sandy plains, but they get the jump on me every single time. Ooh, new area. Um, because anime aesthetics are originally designed to work in 2D and not just in 2D, but in very flat, stylized 2D. Like that's that's what they were invented to be used for. Ooh, sandfish. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> anyway, um, anime aesthetic. Oh, I look forward to kicking his ass. Anime aesthetics are made for stylized two dimensional flatness. And like often hyper stylized two dimensional flatness. They, a lot of the techniques that define anime style were invented specifically to to work. Like under those circumstances, it was they were invented specifically to stylize their way around limitations that exist with 2D animation, especially with limited 2D animation. Because like the big problem that that all anime production has always had is that they are usually shoestring budget affairs. Or they were. Like, it's changed a lot in recent years, but that's that's where a lot of the stylistic flares and flourishes of anime come from. And translating that into 3D when you have full motion and when you can't oftentimes um, do that kind of, of hyper-stylization, that's really hard. Like, there's a reason why 3D anime for a long time had, like, kind of a sketchy reputation at best with people going like, ah, oh, that doesn't look good. And there's a reason why still to this day, like, fairly large budget 3D anime productions don't really nail uh, their aesthetics. X-Arm, I think it's called this, the most recent example of this going. The hell are those? Uh, anyway. Is the word. Where the heck did it go? Oh, you! Get back here! Yeah! Oh, come on! Oh, 
Okay, I guess I need to use kunai against that. Uh, where the hell am I kunai? There they are. Or wait for him to throw it. Yeah, he feels a lot snappier than he was in World. No! Yeah, I forgot to put my weapon away first. I will always find... Oh, that's a barrier. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Kershmack. Well, he's running away. Thank God for infinite stamina, dog. Okay, let's see. Ah. Is that... Is that a sheep bug? I wonder if there's a way to make him drop it. Because, like, in World, you have to do it with your slinger, but... <clears throat> I ain't got one. Okay, got the buff. <laughs> oh! What? Really? The rock protects him from everything? It's off with that. Heck, oh, the sharpness. Because I beat on that rock, isn't it? <laughs> nope. Enough with the... Ah, goddamn rock! This is why no one likes you. Oh, I'm gonna be punished. Yeah. Shouldn't have tried it when he was raging. Would you like to hit him with it? But yeah, kunai seem to be the way to go. Suck it! <laughs> oh, that was good. Anyway, he's tired, so thank you. He's still running. Okay. Oh, you! Get back here! Are you done? Oh, yeah, this looks like a resting place. A final resting place. <laughs> I have barrel bombs this time, don't I? 
I don't? Yeah, I do. But they're just not on that menu, I guess. Okay, well. We'll just uh, deal with these jerks. No one wake the bird up, please. I have a small monster slaying quest anyway, might as well. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Who woke him? Who did that? Yeah. Ow. I'd like it if you had some degree of auto aim. There we go. Probably didn't need the barrel bomb. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> he was pretty beat up already. <sighs> Still, excited to see what the Kulu Yaku gear looks like. I wonder if they just ported that over from World, or if they've made any changes to it. If they have, I might not even be able to tell, really, because it's not like I used the Kulu Yaku gear <laughs> in World. <laughs> Anyway, let's just get some of the map uncovered while we're here, anyway. Presumably the Diabolos, if it's in the game, and I think it is, I believe it is, will be around here somewhere. In the scorching hot desert. Well, I want to see the armor. Okay, I don't think it's... 100% ported from World, but it's not that far off either. Then meal time. Uh, do I have a bunch of these that I just need to kind of get rid of? I don't really need gunpowder for much of anything, so let's just grab some herbal medicines since we can. Thank you, adorable little girl. Oh, hey, eight energy drinks. That's not too bad. I should probably put those energy drinks somewhere where I can use them. Radial menu settings. Uh, quest settings. I think. Okay. Uh, well, got that subquest. So let's just do that again. And village quests. Another new monster, maybe? A Bereth? A Rogi. I uh, hunt a rogue. No, we'll hunt a kezu. Whatever the heck a kezu is. Let's go find out. Gross. There I was, taking a rest when something wet dripped on my shoulder. I look up and ew, wrinkles and veins. Ugh, a pale monster with no face that looks like a... Oh, oh go hunt it, please. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, why? What? Oh no. Oh no 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 Oh, Jesus Christ, Capcom! Who the hell let the Resident Evil artist into the Monster Hunter team? Jesus Christ! Fuck!
Fucking hell, that thing needs to die. That thing needs to die right now. Oh, I'm gonna kill the hell out of that. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, stamina uses down. Yes, good. Uh, yes, please give me. Thank you. Want. Let's put a great wire bug down here. Oh, I already did that. Okay. Well, it got me where I wanted to go a little faster. Oh, 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 there it is. It's like a hairless chicken, man. God damn. Oh, come on. Oh, that's annoying. There we go. Oh, Christ. Good Lord in heaven. Okay, probably don't want to get hit by that, all in all. We have a sluggish beastie, innit? Why? Oh, don't do that! Oh, with your head! Oh, God! You gross bastard! Oh, I don't like you! Okay, tail armored. So, uh, okay, oh my fucking god. Why? Like, seriously, who let the Resident Evil artists play? Who? Who did that? Why? Why would you? They don't belong here. Oh, god. And of all things, why give it a Vyvern body? Like, oh my god, just let it be a worm. It's what it deserves. Oh, <laughs> it's just the veins and all the, oh, the meatiness of it. My God. This is unholy. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I wish you a very die this evening. The wings armored too? That's annoying. Is it really only like the head and the- Ow! Jesus! Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again, right? Yeah. Oh, I need paralyzed resistance for this bastard. Yeah, suck it. Uh-oh, ow! Okay, I'm gonna poison you, I swear to god. Oh, come on! It can fly?! Oh, that's not right! With those? It doesn't even have feathers! It doesn't have wings, it's just gross! Oh my god! Oh, unholy sin against God, and I don't really usually care about that so much, but with you, I'm making a frickin' exception. Oh my God, it just took you, it just, oh, I do not want to see what your, oh, thank God, it doesn't work like that when he's not in water. Okay, get him out of the water. Good plan. Okay, got the buff still rolling, so that's good. Yeah. Get stabbed! Uh-oh. No, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's totally fine. Oh, 
I, I didn't even get the sharpen off. Excuse me. At least he's poisoned. So that's a good thing. Okay. Let's let him do a big attack, would you please? Thank you. Oh, come on! Oh, finally. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm g I'm getting carded. I'm getting carded. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. I am fine. running away again. Oh, God. Just every moment you look at him, it's like the worst dick pic you've ever received. And I've received some bad ones. Oh, coward. Oh, now he's mad again. Oh, you are going down, my friend. Ah, finally got that buff. Okay. He wants to fight in the water again. Can't say I blame him, but I am annoyed. Wait to get raw resistance. Ah, damn it. Well, the cure for paralysis is to get smacked in the head, usually. Oh, would you stop with the roaring? Just makes you seem insecure, frankly. Nope. Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. Thanks, kitty cat. I've got your number now. Damn it. Nope. Again with the armored wings. How can any part of him be armored? He's like raw like a chicken breast. Have a buff. Thank you. Oh, -ho. hey, thanks for the assist. Just 
just gonna launch him into a wall, I think, is what I'm gonna do, because I don't I don't really care about the bird. He can help me out if he wants. Eat a dick. Elemental discharge! Suck on that for a dollar. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, you unpleasant thing. Oh, my God. Like, ah. Uh. Why can you fly? Like, why? Capcom, why? Why can... What? Flabby hide. Oh, it drops a flabby hide, does it? Okay, that's just lovely. Wonderful. Absolutely brilliant. I... Hmm. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Why can it fly? Why can it do... I, I, I can accept the mouth and the, the hairlessness and the electricity, but the flying... Really? Really? That thing can fly, too. Just, just had to toss that in there. On top of everything else, it can also fly. Okay, yeah, sure, why not? Let's, let's give that thing the ability to get around through the air so you can't even put down doors to stop him. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, good Christ. Uh, what an unpleasant thing. A memorable fight, to be sure. I'm not complaining that it's not memorable. I'm just complaining that I wish I didn't have to remember it. Whew. Ah. Oh, I do not look forward to fighting, like, the hardened, high-level versions of that. Blah. Now I have to go and see what its armor looks like. Oh, no. I don't want to. I don't want to see what its armor looks like. I want to live in ignorance. Blissful ignorance. Oh. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, wait, actually, no, wait. Oh, I can see skin folds. I can see skin folds! Oh no! There's, uh, there's little signs of veins! Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, why? Oh my god. Oh, that is just not... It f chest armor wrapped in kezu hide. It fits anywhere like a glove. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, no. I don't care how good the abilities are. I'm never equipping anything from that set. <laughs> Jesus. Good grief. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The weapon looks kind of cool, though. Oh, yeah. No, look. They definitely had the... They definitely had the Resident Evil artists in. Like, look at... Look at that fucking switchblade look. Like, like um... Um, Swiss Army Knife looking thing. Like, with the teeth... And the hooks, and it sort of almost looks like a medical implement, and then it has that Swiss army knife of stuff. No. Yeah, they someone let the Resident Evil artists into the room, and they just shouldn't have. They should just not have done that. Oh, God. Oh, man. I'm genuinely, like, I'm genuinely kind of freaked out by that. That's, uh, it's a horrifying creature. Anyway, uh, yes, give me more Dango tickets. I appreciate it. Anyone in the village want to talk to me? No. Cool. Okay. Let's let's wash the taste of that unpleasant thing out of our mouths uh, by taking on a last quest. Let's fight something a little bit more, a little bit more wholesome. Let's let's take on a barrier. Let's take on a barrier and 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 just try to forget. Toy, look at me, covered from head to toe in mud. All because a stupid barrier, barrier, the barrier, not a barrier, a barrier, attack me. Now the mushrooms are gathered in ruin. Just great. Can you go and bash that Barith, please? Oh, no, yeah, I'll, I'll go and call him out on Twitter. Um, <laughs> for something, I don't know. Find a tweet from when he was 14 and...
Oi! Leave those kitty cats alone! I thought it was kind of lighthearted and cute at first, where it's like, oh, he just spat mud at the kitty cat. That's funny. But now you're just being a jerk, and I'm going to have to punish you for it. Well, he's not hard to find, at least. Here again, I kind of have to wonder. Because I know in, in World, it was water. And you had to hit him with water moss to get the mud off. But I guess in Rise, it would have to be... Oh, why did you have to go and... I was just trying to carve? Oh, I... Yeah, okay, great. Wonderful. Okay. But anyway, in World, I had to use Water Moss to get his mud defenses off. And I have to imagine that in... Yeah! In Rise, it's some other means I need to use. Ow. Like, would I have to get a water elemental weapon? Is that the thing, or...? Well, at least I'm attached to a place that he's not armored. Woohoo! Or do I just have to beat it off him? I like his music theme, though. That's cool. Because that's another thing about the freaking worm monster is, like, it didn't have a music theme. It was just quiet, and I did not like that one bit. Uh-oh. What? Please do not. Okay, that was not a great idea. Hey! Wait! Oh, I thought I could get out of the way. Okay. And he's rolling in mud again. Pardon me, sir. Could you kindly not? Okay, that's not as much of a gap closer as I had hoped. I should use the dash instead. Ow! Yeah. And you cannot get out of the way of his charge when you're in the mud. Oh, I'm getting carted. I'm in the cart. Oh, I'm not in the cart. Holy shit, I, I survived. Oh my god. That was a bad place to land. But hey, it got the poison charge in his head, so that's something. I gotta... Yeah, the, the Barrieth is de the Barrieth is definitely way more aggressive in, in uh, Rise than he was in World. In World, he could go, go, like, four or five seconds without, like, even so much as attempting an attack. This guy, he's just on me all the time. And it's not even... doesn't even seem to be that he's enraged or anything. He's just... He's just a fast boy. He, he's just got the zoomies. Yeah, so I think with him, the window is very much a counter. You wait for him to do a big move, like so, and then get a couple of hits in. Yeah, maybe not there. Okay, now he's mad. Where the hell is he going? Oh, don't go back to the mud! But at least he pissed off the bird. 
And I can work with that. Yeah! Thank you, bird. Good bird. And running away at the right time, too. Nice. It's lovely. There we go. Oh, that was a nice move. That looked cool. Uh-oh. Ow! Should have figured he'd do that. Ooh -hoo! That looked cool, too. Elemental Discharge! Okay, I guess we're riding him. Fair enough. Uh, do I have something I can launch him into? Yeah, this. And then... Well, that'll do. Is his back vulnerable? Oh, yes, it is. Well, it got the damage from it, so that's nice. I'll just take that. Thank you. Okay, could you do your big charge attack? Or else just stand there shaking. That's fine by me, too. Thank you. And now I'd like you to not be near the mud, please. Because the mud is bad. <laughs> oh, the poison got him. That was, yeah, the Barath is definitely more active. Like, he's definitely a more aggressive boy. And I think that tail thing is new. Is it? I don't actually know, but it feels new. It feels like I hadn't seen him use his tail quite that way before. Oh, hey, a brew here. I wonder when Rathalos is going to show up. It's probably going to be at some big reveal. Like it's it's going to be a big special occasion because Rathalos is the... Mascot monster. Skyen, I need you to go see Heymon. He says he wants to have a word with you. Kamara is more than just stealing monster hunters. He has been struggling to get what that means, but I think old Ham is trying to clue him in. Yeah, in his own way, of course. <laughs> old Ham used to be as cold as Tatara Steel, but <laughs> I guess he's getting soft in his old age. <laughs> anyway, don't keep our man waiting. Okay. Huh, you're here. Do you know the monster, Bishatin? It's a fanged, thick-tailed beast with unpredictable movements. It's attacking anyone passing through the Shrine Ruins. An urgent quest has been issued for you to hunt it. What are you still doing here? Huh, need a reason, do you? Very well. Right now, you, no, all of Kamara, hasn't got the strengths or means to take on Magnamalo and the Rampage. It feeds on the Horde to gain power. You can try and kill it, but it'll just eat even more to restore its strength. So, what we need to do is separate it away from the Horde. And I'm devising a way to do just that. In order to finish my device, I need materials from Bishaten, which just showed up at the ruins. The construction itself is... Yeah, no, forget it. Time is short. We'll talk when it's done. Right now, I just need you to hunt Bishaten. Well, right now, I just need you to show me the armor for the big uh, monster I just killed. 
Oh, that's definitely ported over from Monster Hunter World. Or is it? Probably lower fidelity. And that's why I don't really recognize it. Guard? Don't need that, but attack boost. Sure would be nice. I certainly wouldn't mind it. Attack and defense boost. Oh, oh you spoiled me. Now, if only... If only that... Well, actually, that doesn't look too bad. No, actually, yes. That helm is way too bulky. Okay, we'll just pick it up. And equip it, and then... We'll so quietly hide it. <laughs> so that I don't have to look at it. That's the solution. Anyway, anything I can make with the frickin' Barath materials? Because I feel like... I feel like my options hasn't expanded that... Oh, there we go. Paralysis. Minus 20% affinity, though. That kind of sucks, but... Hmm. I could be convinced. I could be convinced towards an assault axe from the Bar Barath. I could be convinced. Yes. Yes. Lots of yellow sharpness. No green, though. Hmm. Think about that later. Equipment display. There. That's better. I've got this cool face. Might as well might as well show it off. I'm a handsome man. Oh, Sky, an urgent quest has come in. It's a request to hunt down a Bishatan. A big monster with a big tail that likes to monkey. Oh, it's a monkey monster, is it? Most of that monkeying around involves attacks using its tail, so keeping an eye on it, okay? Okay. And pick up some more optional subquests. <clears throat> Be shotten. A monkey wrench in your plans. In order to separate Magnamala from the rampage, I need to complete my device. In order to do that, I need materials from Bishaten. One has been spotted in the shrine ruins. Depart at once. Frenetic aesthetic. <laughs> So remember how we talked before about how a lot of the best monsters of Monster Hunter are chimeric? That is, they combine the attributes of multiple beasties into one. You just saw a really good example of that, because we had monkey and we had bird. And that's a combination of creatures that you don't usually see. Oh, Mr. Monkey Man! I have an X with your name on. Wait, can I climb that? Oh, yeah! Oh, cool! Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Oh. Melinx's gatherings? Couldn't find anything. Okay, so that's clearly a f thing. A thing that means something. But what that something thing is, I am not sure. Anyway. Yoing, 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 yoing. Oi! How dare you move? Oh, Mr. Monkey Man! Let's try and sever that tail, shall we? Nope. Nope. Oh! Oh, some cool animation, though. He's breakdancing! 
Once again, this seems like a, a like in tone, Rise is a lot less serious than World, and I think it's for the better, honestly. Oh, poison. Okay, so he's Mr. Status. <clears throat> Change, is he? Uh, I was facing poison. Should have known. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, it's monkey shines wherever you go. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Suck on that for a sec. Now, what do these do? Ah, those are some of his fruits. I'm stealing the fruits of his labor. Now I am the capitalist. Give me that tail. I think I upset him. Oh, he's multi-hitting. Okay, fair enough. You go ahead and do that, buddy. Ow! I guess he has a block as well. I think he was doing something like that. Okay, that's not him teetering or tottering. That's him gearing up for an attack. Righto. Nope. Ow. Should have dodged. I'm just gonna stand here and take a... I noticed that he's not throwing fruits anymore, though, so I think when I knocked him down, I got his fruits away from him? That would be nice. No, I'm wrong. They really do use that tail a lot. Like, in some really cool ways, too. He's super unpredictable. Like, not in the sense that you can't see him winding up for an attack, but in the sense that like, it's hard to tell where it's going to come from or what form it's going to take. Should probably use more Silkbind attacks on him. Yeah, like that shit right there. What the hell was that? Okay. Okay. That's a fun fight. That's genuinely a fun fight. Fair enough. <laughs> it worked. And a flash fruit. I really like that. Come on. The tail must come off. <laughs> no! -ho! No, 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 no. No food for you. Naughty monkey. I will wipe out your race as I wiped out all the other monkeys, monkey. I don't get upset. I have people who do that for me.
tail has to be severable. Come on. I need a weapon that has better cut damage. Yeah. Right in the kisser. Nope. But I guess I will do this. <laughs> okay, good damage. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Get poisoned again. Ha 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 ha! Oh, that is a fun fight. If that one has a more advanced form later in the game, I look forward to seeing that. Because that... That kept me on my toes. I do like... Like, I've talked about it many times already, but the pace of Rise is higher, and I really enjoy it. Like, I can see, like, a lot of people are saying, like, after World is what's so popular, they were like, okay, I guess I'll check out the next one, and then Rise was the game that finally clicked it for them, because I also tried, like, Monster Hunter Try, and uh, what, the one that came out on the on the Wii back in the day, and I just couldn't get into it. Like, because the whole game was just too slow for me. This was also long before I played Dark Souls, and I kind of got used to a slower gameplay style. But this this feels much more snappy and modern in a lot of ways, and I'm, I'm really into it. I'm really into it. So if you've been on the fence about Monster Hunter, like, it's not easy for newbies to get into, find a friend who's gonna be willing to play multiplayer with you, but if you can get someone to help you get in, this, this, this feels like the game. Like, this feels like the game that'll finally get everybody on board with Monster Hunter if they try it. It is a little clunky. Like, there, there's always been a certain clunkiness to Monster Hunter. Like, there's a certain conditionality to its fighting um, that you kind of don't find in more... Like, you would not... It's not the same style of fighting that you find in Dark Souls at all. Um, but it's also not the same style of fighting that you get in something like a, a Devil May Cry game or something like that. It's, it's sort of a midpoint between the two, weirdly, in some ways. Where it's like, it's still... You still do lots of hits... Like, it's still a lot about, like, stringing together combos and stuff like that, but not in the way that something like Devil May Cry is. Anyway, Sky and Grey Word handling that urgent quest. Taking care of that monster allowed Old Ham to finish his uh, thingamabob. Go check it out when you can. Don't run off just yet. <laughs> There's more good news. You can now take on four-star quests. Get them from Hinoa when you're ready. And just one more thing. Magnamalo and the Rampage are almost upon us. You're doing real good out there. Don't lose focus. Oh, I look forward to kicking his ass. Ah, good tidings, Master Skyen. I have stocked a special selection of items expressly suited to your very exploits. Each and every one is guaranteed to be of use to you. I highly recommend that you give them your consideration. Anyway, masterfully done. Thanks to you, the device is ready to go at the stronghold. With this, we can divide Magnamalo and the Rampage and prevent it from regaining its strength. Huh? Still want to know why it work? How it works? Fine. I'll explain it to you. It's complicated, so listen well. The flesh and blood of the Rampage is extremely nutritious to Magnamalo. That's why it always follows the Horde. Its nose is amazingly sensitive to the frenzy. We'll use that very quality against it. This is where the Bishatan comes in. Its stomach is perfect for aging meat. Uh, for the monster palate, anyway. We stuffed fresh, fresh meat from a rampaging monster into the stomach. Soon, it'll be pungent enough to draw Magnamalo here. But my contraption with the stomach inside it will lure Magnamalo into one of the stronghold's secret passages. You'll be waiting at the end of it, and the rest is up to you. Kamara's boar, then steel and hunters. My device was my answer to Fugan's words. In a way, only blacksmiths know how. Since you helped me make it, I'd like to give you this in exchange. Hey, Armor Sphere Plus. Sweet. Whom else wishes to talk to me? Okay. Someone at the village entrance. 
you would like me to help you make some more gear for Palamutes, yes? Woof! Yes. Yeah. Hey there, Skyn! How'd it work as always, I see? Yeah, how's your Palamute treating you? Hearing stories about your work is such an inspiration. Every time I hear a story, I get some idea from a new, for a new Palamute gear. But then I got so excited and I was in such a hurry that I forgot to get the materials I need. Do you have any you can spare? If so, I can set you up with some never-before-seen Palamute gear when I'm finished. A large shuriken. Sounds cool. Let's get some Dragonite ore for him, then. I don't have any, right? No, and I don't have Malachite ore either. I really need to go just gathering stuff, don't I? Hello there, Sky. I've got some big meals from the canteen for you. We upgraded our dango making equipment to produce a whole new level of bunny dango deliciosity. Now, when you eat from our menu, you'll have more energy than you ever had before. You can count on it. Oh, we've also added some new dango. Take it. Making them was a real team effort, and they're simply to die for. And that seems like as good a place as any to cut an episode. We made quite a bit of progress. Met some new monsters. Got ourselves some new nightmares. That was lovely. Um, and if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Monster Hunter Rise with me, then you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below, because that all helps me have a YouTube channel. And if you want to help me edit videos on this YouTube channel, then I have a Patreon, a merchandise store, a tip jar, and memberships available on this channel that helps me pay for an editor who's helping me with some of the stuff that I put up on here. As well as paying my rent, obviously. There's also that. It's also good. Um, but outside of that, thanks for watching. Remember to wear a mask, wash your hands, take the vaccine, and try to act in solidarity with those who are working to make the world a better place.